Hello all and welcome to Zilin channel. So in this video, I will talk about the small tasks that could contribute a large amount of CP to your characters and also account, which also including that the benefits to your out characters as well. So if I go into my bag and by usual, I, I would use my varnish to polish my main equipments and you can see on the screen here right now i'm level seven and if i would like to add it to my main weapon itself it doesn't add up even like um 100 cp by increasing one level here so what i do with my varnish i put it into the weapon that is low level which is um blue star level which is the one star um which in here i will show some of it because the weapon i focus on my alt for the equipment itself you can see i actually put it into here because what it does is that if i would like to put the same amount of varnish into a one star weapon let me just quickly show and it actually requires less amount of varnish and then you could see it boosts the level from 1 to 30 and i'm not benefit from this cp here but thing that the thing that i focus is that i would gain the benefit of getting it into my collections and if i go into the equipment you could see if i would like to level up my one star weapon or one star armor or even like the accessory itself i just need small amount of um of the varnish and then i would just need to upgrade it using small amount of gold and some basic material that i could gain from the quest and by leveling it up i could actually gain a certain amount of cp so i could gain the cp from here by adding this uh the help in here and by completing the tree of course it actually does um makes it more rather than just focus on my main weapon that does not give me some bonus so you can see in that way i could earn a lot of bonus cp and that is how i gain until right now it's around 500k cp i do not really focus on my main weapon using those varnish if you are on a roadblock don't try to upgrade your main weapon that you are equipping but then try around at the one star for the codex purpose and you could also see that i use all those duplicates to try to awakening it so in here what i focus is one is on the level of the one star item two star item and so on and the second point is that i will just use to awaken those one star two star three star item whenever i have um because this is here it also add to the codex itself so if i go to the records collections and if i scroll it down um not yet not yet um yeah there's actually the enhancement but i would not recommend it because the enhancement material is hard to get so that is something that you should focus it on your main weapon first so this one here leave it blank focus on the level and also focus on the awakening which is at the bottom of the page so you can see i think here um yeah it should be some yeah somewhere here so you can see if i would like to awaken my weapon then to three star uh not three star sorry to three level uh i'm not sure I'm not sure how I, I, I should, um, yeah, I, I should state this one, but to three, three awakening and it give me, of course, some bigger kind of HP here. And if I make it to seven plus seven awakening, you will also gain 
another amount of the HP which add to your CP. And of course, if you awaken it to 10, so all this things actually stack up. It has the domino effect and I do not need a lot of material because um, if you try to awaken the one star when you craft weapon itself, if you have duplicate item, do not use it to level up another equipment because it just doesn't make sense. It's actually adding quite a small amount. Uh, let me just simply take this one here. If I would like to put uh, my one star weapon into it, um, you can see it just a little bit of adding it into it. Um, so it is not something that worth to do it. Even if you try to salvage it, um, it doesn't make sense. So the best way is to use it to awaken and start to collect the collections here. I will give you a bonus CP on top of it. So this is how you do. And the second thing that I say, it not just only put it into the collection because it has domino effect. When you go into your achievement, I believe is uh, power up. Let me see if it's here. Yep, so you can see the level up equipment. So as I say just now in my sample, if I level up, I put all the varnish into my main weapon, which is the, the fire weapon that I'm using right now. It add only one level, but then if I put that varnish even lesser, so into the one star weapon, it level up to 30. And this is rare. It gives me the level up equipment kind of reward which is this achievement point here that adds to my achievement. And from the achievement itself, you could see right now my bonus CP for my achievement is 28K. And this is because all the small things actually add up. So if you would like to focus on something that's small like that, um, it doesn't require a lot of gold. It doesn't require a lot of material. And then from there, you get the, uh, the records collections CP and then you use it comes into the achievements and you gain the CP from the achievement and this side it is also has the domino effect if let's say you are leveling up enough until you have reached a certain level of tier what it also gives is at the title stage so if you go into your character and select the title um power up so it's actually following um so if you go back to the records and achievement you could see battle power up collections adventures social challenging so by completing each of it at um the, the task and at the specific tier if you once reach that tier list it actually gives you wait a moment it's actually give you a special title on top of it. Let me just simply take maybe this one here. Um, uh, I just simply take one of it. Uh, the wrong one. That is actually the training. Um, mm -mm. let me just see. Yeah. So I do not. I could not find that sample. But then, if let's say some, if you are powering. Up it there is something that adds up okay let's say um take another sample so craft equipments once you have reached crafting 230 times then you gain another additional cp from having this title here and the title it doesn't mean that you have to equip the title in order to gain that um, damage or kind of stuff that give but it adds up every title that you have collected and put it as an overall cp so whatever title that you have gained from the achievement itself it adds together and this actually adds to all your account character so this is actually what i mean by the domino effect so if let's say this toy enthusiast is here so if you obtain enough of toy um, of course, what I focus on is to focus on the main quest, 
some of the main quests when you reach a certain level give you some goodies back on the toy itself so i rush all of my five characters in my account to, until that progress of getting the toy and when i open it up the toy itself one i could combine a toy for one of the achievement and then i could also achieve this one by obtaining the toy so it's actually kind of like domino kind of things there so it it just no bowling oh yeah so finally i found it the title so as i say if you have level up the items so it can't buy level and if you are using small amount of varnish on this the low level star and then it actually boosts a lot of level for those um, low level item there and this is where you get also the title effect for this um yeah for for this um task so you do only need to use a little thing to just gain a big thing so i believe this would be clear enough and um, if you would like to focus on what you should do always go into the records and achievements and check on it so everything that actually adds up so you can see that i i just focus every small task that i could do because um when i reach my achievement the bonus for the achievement level increase a ton so if let's say right now i'm level uh, not level grade 14 it gives me bonus uh, 28 kcp here but then if i reach grade 15 it gave me 30k which is actually a bonus because you don't really um yeah you don't really focus much on it it's actually benefit you from the collections as well and then it give you the yeah the kind of bonus in here and it give you the title which is all linked together. So I think this would be all that I would like to explain on why you should focus on a small thing. And especially if you are a free to play player, this is how you should play the game because um, the resources, the material is all limited. So you do not want to just grind through the game, focus on leveling up just the equipment itself. Um, it, it's kind of hard. And because we do not really put in much cash into it. If you purchase diamond in order to grind grind through or do some gacha things, um it really doesn't make sense. And the the gameplay itself is really focused on a small thing that makes you yeah, makes a big impact on it. So I, I hope this video is helpful for you and thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe if you think this video is helpful for you. Bye.